somewhere beyond new fame somewhere is waiting for me my daddy stands on golden clouds he's watching with Jim while they're fishing Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed be the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. same way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of a new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. 
to my sister and brother, and Daniel, who couldn't be here, as you know. And my nieces and nephews, we are so grateful that many of you came a long way to celebrate my father's death. And I invite you to join us afterwards to celebrate his life in joy. He loved each, and one, each one of you, and he died with no regrets. He died with no sorrow. He died, he said, if you could see, daughter, how much love is in this room, you would not believe it. These are the happiest days of my life on my deathbed. That is encouraging to me. <laughs> we don't have to be afraid. We can be joyful, so please do. Remember my father with joy and laughter. Remember the good parts of him. You know, I'll just tell you one quick story. When my father was teaching me how to drive, I was very wimpy. We were in Amish country, and father fell asleep while I was driving, and we came upon an Amish park with a horse, and I was too afraid to pass the Amish park. And I followed that horse and buggy for miles, and then father woke up and said, what are you doing? Following us? Go around him, daughter, for God's sake, don't be afraid. <laughs> All right, I mean, there was no one in sight forever. Finally, I did it, and that's really how I've lived my life as well. Do it, girl. Do it, people. Don't be afraid. You have one beautiful life to live, and go for it. He did everything he wanted, and he was a happy, happy man. And I'm a happy daughter to be from the fruit of my father and mother. And I want to thank you once again for being here. God bless you. God will love you. We will love you, Dad, Father. He's going to say, Dad, we'll love you, Dad, forever. We will never forget you. We are so grateful for you teaching us how to live and how to die. We're right behind you, and I will close by saying his best friend was Jim Curry, and he can't wait to go fishing with Jim in heaven. That was what he was waiting for. So God bless you, Father. We know you got your fishing pole up there, and we will always remember you up there fishing with Jim. So God bless you. Rest in peace, Father. We love you. In God, we have prayed together for research. Now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Richard again and enjoy his friendship. Although this peaceful family, friends, will disperse in soul, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Richard in this life, 
They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us, listen to our prayers, open the gates of paradise to your servants, and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city. May choirs of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Whoever believes in me, even though that person die, shall live. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes and lives in me shall never die. Now, in peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. Tracy, we love her. Our brother Richard has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. Come you who are blessed by my Father, says the Lord, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Let us pray, Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as it claims now our mortal bodies. Grant that our brother may sleep here in peace until you awaken him to glory. For you are the resurrection and the life. Then he will see face to face and in your light will see light and know the splendor of God for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Because God has chosen to call our brother Richard from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth, for we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory, for he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us command our brother to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day. We bless this ground with the holy water. May he sleep in peace here until the second coming of Jesus when everyone will wake up to new life. For our brother Richard, let us pray to our Lord Jesus who says, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me shall live even in death. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary, draw near to us who mourn for Richard, 
Dry the tears of those who weep, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. You wept at the grave of your friend Lazarus. Comfort us in our sorrow, we pray to the Lord. You raise the dead to life, give to our brother eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Our brother was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give him fellowship with all your saints, we pray to the Lord. He was nourished with your body and blood. Grant him a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of Richard. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope, we pray to the Lord. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us ask Blessed Mother to pray for us, to pray with Richard in the kingdom, to help him to enter the fullness of glory. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now. Almighty God, through the death of your Son on the cross, you overcome our death. Through his rest in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you. And through his rising again, you restored us to eternal life. God of the living and the dead, accept our prayers for those who have died in Christ and are buried with him in the hope of rising again. Since they were true to your name on earth, let them praise you forever in the joy of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. May the love of God and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ bless and console us and gently wipe every tear from our eyes in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stay in peace. Thank you so much for your prayers. We will continue to pray. Pray for the Father Husband in the future and always brothers and sisters pray for you. Wish you the best. Thank you. Your niece Ellen and her husband Brandon. And there's your nephew Matthew. Look at him. That was cool. Yeah. Bye, Grandpa. Bye, bye. Got it, girl. There's your sister, Julie. No, I wanted to see where. Um, She's not paying attention. But there's your cousin. That's a beautiful group. There's your nephew, Adam, who made it all the way out. And saw his grandma for the first time in about. Is that for Uncle Dan? Yes. I'm famous on Twitter because of Uncle Dan. This is your cousin, Annette. It's for Uncle Dan. <laughs> it's for oh. Uncle Dan. Hi, Uncle Dan. Danny. That I drew when I was little. Daniel, we yeah. miss you. Daniel, we miss you. You? Because of Twitter. And now it's made it to Twitter Columbia. Mm -hmm. What did you do? Yeah. When I was little, I had to like write a speech about uh, suffering.
found it last week. Totally it was right. up here. So they took a picture of it. Up there. And that goes on top. It's the vault. Picture of mother. Brother. There's uncle. Everything Wait. spelled wrong. What's his name? Uncle Donald? <laughs> no, that's not Uncle Donald. Uncle Norman. That's your Uncle Norman. Be in the middle. Thanks, mother. <laughs> Daniel will be in the middle. Okay. Did you hear that, Uncle Dan? In the middle. Uncle Dan's yeah. gonna be in the middle. Okay, NK, take over. Well, no, Are we just done? Keep going. Yep. No, we're still going. These are our neighbors. Well, this is for Daniel. He asked us. That's to... what we figured. There you go, brother. We'll do some more videoing over at the at the party. Hello. Thank you, dear friend. I'm the vlogger. The vlogger. I don't say that. You did last night, lady. Well. Grandma. Fucking oh, shit. 
say it. Yeah. Look at that no, thing. It's, nice. it's gonna be in the video, no, brother. Just talk nice. about his tires. <laughs> like of all things for us to okay. follow, this right. big tire holder. Oops. Oh fuck! One of the cookies went down. Oh god. Well. Sorry. <laughs> Only in fucking Man, Buffalo, New York. Here in New Fane. Buffalo's Newfane. a bigger place. Grandma. I'm Look at this thing. Grandma, pass it! I'm no, not you can't. It's a, a double, road. A double line. Buffalo, New York. <laughs> you can't pass until you get up know, over the hill. I know, I know, I <laughs> know. He's trying to pull over for it's you. It's like a friggin' tire thing. Is. Who now does there's this? there's a car coming. I've never seen this machine in my life. Well, it's a farm equipment. This well, is a farm. Well, we get that much. <laughs> it's like a friggin' tire thing. Who okay, there he goes. And here we go, down Ewing's Road.